Hey guys, this is Ori. Um, this is a video I'm doing uh, about uh, repairing the Super CD-ROM 2. Uh, I don't know if you can call it a tutorial really. Um, it's more like uh, how I got to where I got with research and uh, just getting the proper equipment and proper setup for fixing. So first of all, um, what you see here is the open the CD ROM 2. Um, I took off the, there's a little pin on the plastic ring right here. There's a little pin you're supposed to press right here. And with this, you can release the magnets. And then you can put the CD for testing. I have like a little TV I found on the street. So it's a great little TV for testing. Uh, so yeah, so first of all, um, like you can see, it's, it's, it's a modded Super CD-ROM unit. You can see the amplifier here, well isolated, the wires uh, going down there into the pins, into the pins, and then go back here to the AV port. Um, and you can see here also the, uh, these two lines, uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to try to point it right here. These two lines, black and white, these are the stereo that connects straight to the motherboard. Okay, so uh, after I modded it, it stopped working. And the uh, first thing I did is order a new uh, CD drive. This is the used one I took out. I just got today a new CD drive, which I installed already. It's it's really easy actually. Once you open it, uh, all you have to do is take the motherboard out. There's a plastic. It's not even a screw. You you have to push it from from the bottom. It's like a pressure screw. Just push it here. And sorry, from right right here, the same one. This way you can get this whole assembly out. The CD assembly out. Once you have all this thing out, you're supposed to disconnect a couple of tabs right here and right there. It's, it's pretty obvious. And then you have another four pressure screws all around. And then you can take this plastic cover. And then it's really easy. You take out the metal bar and you just like, and you just, and you just like uh, roll in this piece and reconnect it back, connect everything back. And uh, like Fagnaris would say, it's a piece of piece. To do it actually to replace the to replace the, the CD drive. The next thing, the tricky part, and that's that's actually a very crucial part when you exchange the CD the CD drive or do anything with this uh, with any CD unit is you have to calibrate the, the potentiometer. Now, even after I exchange, I thought the problem was the was the drive. Even I, after I exchange it, it did sound like weird noises, and it said the screen said uh, please set disk. So the next thing to do was to mess around with the potentiometers. Hopefully, you guys can see. There's uh, five potentiometers right here. Uh, I think the Dual RX have only four potentiometers, but usually the CD machines have five potentiometers. And they, they are used to calibrate, um, sorry for the shitty zoom, but they used to calibrate uh, different parameters of the CD player. And uh, there's certain, some of them, two of them um, uh, deal with, with uh, speed and braking. Uh, I'm not sure what the other ones do. Uh, doesn't really matter. All I'm saying is that the crucial one for me was VR101. And like you can see, there's many websites with different charts regarding uh, regarding um, how to deal with potentiometers. So uh, you need one of these guys. Okay, uh, it's a, it's called a multimeter, and you set it up on ohms. I specifically set up on 200, and then what you do is, let's say uh, you wanna start messing around with the B and C, which are the two bottom 
pins so you just put these two pieces here on the two weld spots and it it's going to read a certain number in my case it was you know in the range of between 20 and 18 and I just uh, I mean I, I could keep holding with one hand and with the other hand I um, I, I could turn it with a Phillips screwdriver while the PC engine was on. I, I, don't, I don't know if it makes a difference if it's on or off, but I turned mine on and I could see the potentiometer numbers uh, changing and I could test uh, whatever works. So let's say in my case 20 didn't work and I've been underneath 18 didn't work. But once I put it on 18.5, it, it worked. And then I, but it was kind of slow. I mean, the rating kind of slow. So I changed it until it was 18.2 and this gave me the uh, best results so let's push run button sounds pretty robust no crazy sounds let's see if it works yes pretty fast yep everything seemed kosher so again um Again, I'm trying to learn also how to repair these uh, first-generation CD players, and you know, uh, mainly there's the, you know, the biggest issues are either the gears. In this case, uh, the gears are more robust than the first uh, CD-ROM unit model, so the gears are usually okay on this one. So it's a, either it's the gear, then it it can be the the CD the the CD the lens, and uh, and its drive which looks like this and it's pretty easy, easy to change usually anywhere on the CD, Super CD-ROM it was easier to, to change I'm sure it's more difficult on the first model and then you have to mess with the capacity uh, with the potentiometers and see it, it does make a difference I mean I, I, I might have moved it a little bit when I modded the PC engine so that may have caused uh, the issues but anyway, anyway, you have to mess around with this. And then the capacitors. Capacitors, you usually can see if they're corroded or not. These are, these are like, this is the capacitors. Uh, I'm not going to get into how the capacitors work, but those are the, those little bumps, those little um, cylinders usually. And uh, they can get corroded uh, or the interior can leak. So then, then you can change them. But, you know, it's pretty straightforward to change them. You just have to be careful. But that's it, so we have a fixed working Super CD-ROM unit with a brand new laser. And it's, uh, I bought this laser from Dr. Hong Kong, I think, Dr. HK, for $22. What a, f what a great investment. I'm going to buy a new one, another one, I think. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a, I'm going to make a quick video soon also. Sorry, I have too many videos lately, but... Uh, again, if anybody has questions about modding or fixing, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm just a guy like you guys, just learning along, along the way. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys really soon, actually. Peace.